Hello and welcome to week six uh, of Person 111. Now uh, we just look at uh, some overview for uh, this week. Uh, but first of all, I would like to um, share with you a few things um, that has come up because of the uh, coronavirus. So I'm going to share with you uh, some of the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So you will see um, this is the ACU homepage and you can see there is an ACU response to the novel coronavirus. Uh, if you click on learn more you will be able to get to uh, more questions and answers type of things or anything that uh, you need to know uh, and you if you go back um, you would also see uh, i just go back all the way to home uh, you could also find a self-assessment guide here uh, if you feel unwell uh, and i didn't show you yet but in this uh, learn more or the fact sheet you can find information for a student, um, including a support services uh, if you need any support and medical centers as well and medical advice. Uh, depending on uh, the local government, you might need to take also um, more isolation or you cannot go to campus depending on the development of the government um, guidance and you need to follow that. Uh, however, at the moment, uh, ASU campuses are still open, so you should be able to come to campus if you need to, especially if you do not have um, a strong internet connection at home. Uh, when you do go to university, you can use the library um, or other rooms, but you do need to observe the social distance rule. Okay, um, another thing I would like to share with you is the new um, Leo homepage. Uh, so I think I can just stay there and just show you the home page yes okay so that's a new leo home page just make sure that um, this is what you see yes so this is the new leo home page um, that you can see there are new things are coming up uh, at the moment they are highlighted in green um, from time to time, uh, the highlights will go away depending on what's coming up at the moment, at that particular moment. So do check Leo often. Uh, and this video is quite important. That would give you information and guidance about the changes on the Leo site. Uh, we have got new uh, tiles or modules. So each of these is a tile or a module and you would need to know a little bit where things are. So please watch uh, this video to know uh, how Leo has changed and where you can find things uh, and uh, what you need to download. As you can see here, uh, the union outline has been updated um, with the new due dates for assignment two and three. So that's something you need to be aware of. And uh, this first, um, green highlight here as for the course advice service that you can use if you need to consult a course advisor. Okay, so I leave it uh, with you to watch this video. I won't go into that. Uh, and now we can um, go to the uh, this week content. So what I'm showing you here is the PowerPoint slides. 
uh, which have all been made available on Leo week six. Um, so in this week, we will learn about the impact of technology on society and environment. And there are some readings that you can find on Leo under the concept section and also under the workshop section and the extra resources section. So uh, the readings under the concept section are those you need to read before coming to class. The readings under the workshop section, if you can read before class, that's great. Uh, but they will be the readings, they are short readings, uh, but they will be uh, readings we will do in class as we have activities in a workshop. The readings under the extra resources section are there to support your study, your assignments, and so on. So they are very um, good resources selected to support your study. Um, so please do engage in those materials. Uh, all right, so it's a little bit of comic. Um, just to capture this week's topic. Uh, when we're talking about um, social and environmental impact of technology, we are actually talking about ethical concerns. So technology brings about positive, but also negative impact. And some of these negative impacts are also ethical concerns. So at first, we look uh, at some basic understanding about ethics. And we will look at the code of ethics for computer science and informa information technology professionals, even though you might not be working in that field in the future, it is good to know what are the code of ethics for IT uh, professionals, so you understand what they need to hold, and it's links to ethics. And we will uh, learn a little bit about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. These are intimately linked to uh, environmental sustainability and social sustainability. So these are the 17 sustainable development goals that, are, that were developed by United Nations and agreed among them. Um, in version 111, we are particularly looking at uh, environment sustainability. So you will be looking more closely at things like climate action, uh, which is actually one of the topic for your assignment three. You might also uh, want to look at how technology has an impact on uh, energy and um, sustainable cities and communities. Okay, those are some of the few focuses for um, Basin 111 in the uh, broader framework of sustainable development goals. And uh, these are the development goals uh, with a little bit more explanation. So if you forget what they are, you can look it up here. And um, next thing we'll be looking at is um, unpacking one of the readings under the concept section about Australian digital inclusion. Uh, this is um, a study done by, um, uh, led by um, Morgan to measure how 
uh, Australian society have access to technology, how they are affordable to different Australian communities, and how different Australian communities have a digital ability, that is, they uh, have the ability to work with digital technology. So uh, after unpacking this, you will have a better understanding of how Australia fares in terms of um, digital accessibility, affordability, and ability. And you will learn a term called digital divide. Um, that is the term that indicates how different Australian communities in this case, or in general, different communities, different nations are divided because of differences in um, one, two or three of these indicators. So that gives you a little bit of understanding about the social impact of technology. Um, and then we will look at a case study, uh, Uber Eats and Deliveroo, to understand how technology has an impact on the working conditions of certain groups of workers and you'll learn about the term gig economy or gig workers. You probably have heard about it. Um, if you have been follow the news regarding uh, the current restrictions around the COVID-19 outbreak, you probably are aware of certain groups of workers who do not have the same rights as other groups of workers and are worse off than many others. Uh, in fact, some of our students are affected as well. Um, so, um, yeah, these are some notes about gig economy. And then we look at the second case study uh, that's looking at the rollout of NBN in Australia and how um, it affects Australian society and causing ethical and social concerns. <laughs> These slides will explain um, about some terminologies and uh, some of the technologies that are used in the NBN. Uh, NBN stands for National Broadband Network. Some of you probably have already had it. So you'll be looking at um, the differences that NBN Royale has caused in different communities in Australia and have a bit of discussion about that. Uh, and then in the next uh, section, we'll be looking at something a little bit different, uh, which is screen computing. Uh, we will have some understanding of what it is, what its goals are, what are the approaches to green computings, and we'll learn about some good tools to help us to practice uh, green computing. Okay, so and we learn a little bit more about um, which uh, manufacturers and which technology uh, are consuming more energy, or uh, in other words, are less green than others. So we can make informed decisions in our choices uh, when we buy things or when we use uh, te technology um, products. 
And uh, we have some tips for green computing. You can contribute your own tips here. Um, and we have some activity to unpack more about uh, green computing. And uh, one of these uh, activities relates directly to your assignment three, uh, which discusses how mobile phones have an impact on society and environment sustainability and discuss ways to minimize the impact. In your assignment three, you will be discussing the same question for your uh, one of the technologies that you use in your business. So it is a very worthwhile activity uh, that you can have with your peers in class. And finally, just a bit of reminder about assignment two due date, about assignment three, uh, that is the ePortfolio and how to prepare for week seven. So that's all for week six. I hope uh, to see you um, in our virtual classroom. And uh, I look forward to uh, sharing with you and journeying with you in next week and the rest of the semester and look looking forward to your active participation in the online class as well as in the um, discussion forum. Thank you. Bye.